Okay, this is uh, ILT Injective Linear Transformation C20. And our first one actually is not an injective transformation. Injective means it's got a one-to-one -one ratio, which means every output has a unique input. Uh, it's called a one-to-one. -one. Uh, so what they want us to demonstrate is why this one is not injective. We want to find two different inputs that yield the same output. Because they don't specify the output, it's really up to us. And the easiest output to find, of course, is uh, the null vector, the zero vector. Because if, if we find the zero vector's output, it's like solving a homogeneous system. And we know that that's really, really easy. So anyway, that's the choice I'm gonna make. I'm gonna basically say, uh, what's the pre-image of zero, zero, zero? Okay. And to do that, we're just gonna take this guy, two, one, one, uh, zero. Uh, negative one, three, one, negative one, three, one, two, and negative two. And then we're just going to find the null set of this guy. I'm not going to put the row of zeros in because we don't really need them. Uh, and of course, when I RF this guy, uh, we're actually going to need another row because the technology doesn't like to do uh, matrices that aren't square when it does. RFs. So this is what comes out of it. So we've got 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 3, and 0, 0, 0, 0. So uh, x4 basically is our free variable. We've got r equals 3. We've got three pivot rows. Uh, n equals 4. And our, our pivot rows are 1, 2, and 3 and our free row is four. And that's okay. Uh, again, this is not out of bounds. Uh, so basically that means uh, x4 is gonna be free, but x1, two, and three are all based on a function of x4. So let's build that. Uh, x4 is free, but x1 is gonna be negative x4. Uh, x2 is gonna be negative x4 x3 is going to be 3x4, and of course x4 is itself x4. So this would be uh, the spanning set. Let's take the x4 out of there, and it really turns into negative 1, negative 1, 3, 1. And basically any span of this guy right here would be in the uh, pre-image. It would basically be one whose input would produce this as its output. And they asked for two of them. So if uh, t minus 1 of uh, 0, 0, 0, if that basically produces this as its spanning set, negative 1, negative 1, 3, 1, and then brackets, and then span it then any two members of that set would work. So I'm gonna pick one of them, which is just one times it, negative one, negative one, three, one. And a second one would be negative one times it, one, one, negative three, negative one. And there it is. Both those will produce zero, zero, zero as an output to this linear combination, proving that this is non-injective because it has two in inputs for a given output. And if you pump these back through, you'll notice that they both indeed produce zero, zero, zero. So there it is.